everyone. I'm here at the Iron Man Muscle Beach Hall of Fame booth with legendary Chris Dickerson. Chris, how does it feel to be part of this booth and you're going to be inducted today into the Hall of Fame? How does What does that mean to you? It means a great deal because just when you think it's over, it's not over. It makes me current again at my tender age of 74. And 74. Look at him. And counting. <laughs> Thank you very much. But the training, the sweating, the eating, the proper diet, it all attributes to it. And it pays off. A good friend, John Bailey, whom I used to compete with, by the way, he may, may have, uh, he's modest about it. When I won Mr. California back in 1967, you were not born. I was not. I was he not was, born then. He was third. So he's been a bodybuilding competitor, and he bought Iron Man magazine and doing a wonderful job with it, and a great announcer. So he really knows the sport inside and out. He and Joe Wheatley are responsible for my being here. Back in 1963, I took my first look and I said, oh my God, Muscle Beach. Of course, I was a little younger then, so was the world. But I love being here on this 4th of July, 2014. It's great. Who was an inspiration while you were training and, and, and training to become this athlete? Who was someone that inspired you? My own coach, Bill Pearl, of course. I was 23 out of college. And he was a father I never had. He was a big brother I never had. Besides being a wonderful coach, he was hard on me. And so, but that's why I became the bodybuilder I finally became because of him. I've met celebrities among the top ones was Johnny Carson. I was on his show twice as Mr. USA and then finally as Mr. America. And that was back in 1970 when his show came from New York. So it's, it's been a wonderful way. Uh, it's been overwhelming for me. And I have to pinch myself at times to say, Chris, you made it. <laughs>